Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Teacher SVR, and I make video lessons and some tutorial videos that may help you as a learner or as an educator. Today's video is going to be explaining what happens when volcanoes erupt, and I'm really excited to share it with you. But before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Alright, let's get started. Volcanic eruption is one of the most dangerous natural disasters. It sends out ash clouds, lava, and even volcanic bomb. It can cause damage to property and human life. What happens when volcanoes erupt? It begins when pressure on a magma chamber resulting in an explosion. The explosion forces the magma up through the channel and out of the volcano's vents. Moreover, an explosive eruption of lava, ash, gases, and rocks occurs. The lava flow can cause lahar. There are four types of volcanic eruption, Hawaiian, Strombolian, Vulcanian, and Plinian. First is Hawaiian eruption. In this kind of eruption, fluid basaltic lava is thrown into the air, which lasts for hours or even days. That phenomenon is called fire fountaining. Next is the Strombolian eruption. Strombolian eruptions are distinct bursts of fluid lava from the mouth of a magma-filled summit conduit. Explosions occur every few minutes. The height of the explosion can reach up to hundreds of meters. It is associated with small lava lakes. It is the least violent of the explosive eruptions. Third is the Vulcanian type of eruption. This type of eruption is short, violent, relatively small explosions of viscous magma. It results from the fragmentation and explosion of a plug of lava in a volcanic conduit. It creates powerful explosions. It is repetitive and can go on for days, months, or years. The last type of eruption is Plinian eruption. It is the largest and most violent among the types of eruption. It is caused by the fragmentation of gassy magma. It releases enormous amounts of energy. The Plinian eruption can rise up to 50 kilometers. It is extremely destructive and it can obliterate the entire top of a mountain. Here is the summary of the lesson. There will be an evaluation of your understanding of the lesson. Are you ready? Let's start. Eruption begins when pressure on a blank chamber builds up. The correct answer is A, magma. Next, select the correct answer. Which of the following materials is or are released during a volcanic eruption? The correct answer is D, all of the above. Identify which among the given statements are true and or false. Statement 1, lava flows are streams of molten rocks beneath the surface of the earth. Statement 2, lahar is the flow of volcanic debris. The correct answer is B, statement 1 is false while statement 2 is true. Select the correct answer. In which type does the eruption of Mount Pinatubo belong? The correct answer is C, Plinian. How many correct answers did you get? If you got all correct answers you are doing great. If you got some incorrect answer, don't worry, you can rewatch this video to review in which question did you get wrong. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions for future videos. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.